Kenya is one of the most connected countries in Africa, with almost 90% of the entire country having access to the internet. This makes Kenya also among the top 10 countries in the continent with the highest number of people exposed to cybercrime. In a report at Kenya's National Cybersecurity Conference, between April of 2019 and June of 2019, there were 26.6 million cyber threats that occurred in the country. And this is one of the many reasons why Kenyans need a VPN. Another major reason would be to access content from sites like Netflix that is restricted by region online because, you know, the user is located in Kenya. On the matter of global cybersecurity, however, did you know that in 2018, hackers stole half a billion personal records? And the fact is that every 39 seconds, there is a hacker attacking someone. That same year in 2018, cybercrime globally added up to $1 trillion in losses. And a major part of that doesn't even come from big banks or wealthy celebrities, but from individuals like you and me. In this video, I'll be showing you how to protect yourself with one tool, a VPN. So you're not among the statistics. I'll help you find the best VPN for Kenya and I'll walk you through some things to look out for. Without further ado, let's get to the video. First off, why should you use a VPN in Kenya? I'll start by explaining what a VPN is. A VPN or virtual private network lets you create a secure connection to another network via the internet. A VPN is a tool. It's usually an app that you have installed on your computer that is your laptop or PC or Mac or your smartphone. Once installed, a VPN does a couple of things. Firstly, it changes your location or in more technical terms, your IP address. This way, if someone is trying to hack you or figure out your location, they won't have anything to pinpoint the location of your device and what they'll have or what they'll see is the location that you have chosen on the vpn this way you get to access websites that are restricted to that said region you also get to stay protected from people who may try to steal your information if you're on a public wi-fi connection kenya has the highest internet penetration rate in africa at 87.2 percent or eight out of every 10 people you meet has internet access in Kenya. This means that with a population of 53 million people in this country, there's 47 million that have access to the internet. Population forecasts look at Kenya having a population growth of, you know, to over 57 million people. And this is inevitably going to increase the number of those who have access to the internet. This number is very powerful and it's evidence that internet security should be a top priority, especially considering that globally in 2015, Kenya ranked as 69th out of 127 countries to be susceptible to many kinds of cyber crime. So you know you need a VPN, but how do you know which VPN to get and what should you look out for when you want to get a VPN? When you're trying to find a VPN, you want to know or you want to be sure of your use case or use cases when it comes to having a VPN. Are you merely going to be streaming movies or video content? Or are you someone who travels a lot and needs to connect to public Wi-Fi? Maybe you just want to stay secure on the internet or you want all of those things. This is somewhere that VPN.com excels and right on the homepage, you get to see the best VPN that you can get for your own specific use case. For instance, if you're looking for a VPN for entertainment purposes like streaming Netflix, you should find out if the VPN you're getting can. Not a lot of VPNs can do this. Sometimes Netflix restricts some of their content to some locations and it doesn't show in some others. One other use case is having decent ease of use with a good interface. This is somewhat based on preference, but really a good user interface would usually speak for itself and watching slash reading reviews on vpn.com can help you find your preference in this regard. Another very important factor when it comes to choosing your VPN is the speed. How fast is it? Does it drop in speed when it's connected? This can be seen through VPN reviews and again, does it have enough locations for connections as well? If you are one who wants to regionally access content like Netflix, you'd want to know if your VPN can access this from your country of choice. Other things to look out for are also compatibility with your devices, your PC, your Macs, your Android, iPhone, or your router. The customer service is also important when you want to get a VPN. You should know if they are 24 seven or nine to five, depending on the time zone. And this is usually stated in the support pages or seen in reviews. The mode of payment is also a major factor. Although there are policies guiding everything with your credit cards, some people who want anonymity may want to use Bitcoin and you want to know if your VPN has the option of accepting Bitcoin. Many VPN companies also offer a 30 day free trial. Some may be seven days, some may be more and some may be less. Um, and you usually have a money back guarantee. So you're a confident customer when you want to pay. Speaking of paying for a VPN, yes, it can be tempting to want to use a free VPN. After all, your IP address is changed and isn't that what you want, right? Wrong. Well, free VPNs are somewhat notorious for tracking you or even selling your data. 
they slow down your speed and also have limited features like limited locations, connections, and also access to services that you may need for your own use case. And when you pay for a VPN, you unlock a myriad of features. If you are curious and you want to know more about VPNs, especially with regards to how it relates to Kenya, visit vpn.com slash location slash Kenya. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And as a special offer today and to save viewers like you a bunch of money, grab a 30-day risk-free trial to the more best VPN for Kenya by clicking the first link in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.